Now that we've gone through the application process, some schools will require you to sit an extra examination so that they can test your academic ability. In this video, we're going to talk quickly about some math skills and tricks that you can apply in that exam. So since each year you'll be sitting a separate exam, I'm not really going to go through any specific maths content in here. But I'm going to talk more generally about tips and tricks where most students lose marks. So some schools hire external parties to run their exams, and some schools set their own internal exams. So what this means is that there's really quite a difference in terms of what exams to practice for. However, so most schools will only test you on things that you should know. So I highly recommend looking at past papers for that school's math classes. This will give you an indication of the level of math that the students are doing there, and an indication on what could be on that exam. So one of the most common errors students face is not simplifying their answers enough. If you come to a number that's really obviously can be simplified, then it's really important that you do. This will usually earn you one or two marks in that end. Another error that most students make is that they don't make their steps clear enough to the marker. It doesn't really matter if you kind of know where your logical train of thought is going, if it's really illegible to the marker. You need to set out your steps and your proofs so that the marker knows where you're going and can give you pass marks, even if you don't get that right answer. Another really important error is not using the proper notation. A lot of students will use abbreviations that their tutors have taught them or that they've seen in a textbook, but teachers can't award marks if it's not a proper proof. So using things like zangles or kangles instead of the corresponding angle at parallel lines is a surefire way to not get you those marks. Another common error is that students rush into their exam and don't interpret the questions properly. It's really important that you go into it calm and collected. Interpret the questions correctly even if you can't understand what they mean. If the question is kind of hard to interpret, it's really important that you read it slowly, underline the keywords, and try to draw a diagram so that you can wrap your head around what the question is asking you. This will ensure that you don't waste time writing half a page on things that aren't going to get you marks. Another thing is having units on the end of your answers. Teachers can't award you marks if you don't put kilos, meters, liters, or anything like that, if it's just an arbitrary number that doesn't really have any connection to the question. And lastly, one of the biggest simple mistakes to make is not factorizing properly, especially when there's a negative involved. This is a really common error that students face, and it can result in further mistakes in the question. Thanks for watching these numeracy tips, guys, and keep watching for more insight into selective school applications.